Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Beta and this is The Simple Budget. Here on my channel I show you how my family is using the zero-based budgeting method in order to get out of debt and simplify our financial life. If that sounds like content that you're interested in, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and join our little crew here. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. All right, so probably for the first time in a long time, I had to re-record my intro because um, my husband jinxed me, as he is wont to do when he is present sometimes. I said nothing. You just looked at me weird. I looked at her weird. You looked at me weird. Um, anyways, happy Monday. Hello. Hi. I think this is what I'm considering week four of the August st stuffings. No, this is week three. Yes, this is week three of August cash stuffings and this time is flying by. I feel like I just started my channel yesterday. I mean, technically I did um, because I just only started it in January, but it's still so weird to me that we are like entering the end of the year. Like that's yeah. just bizarre to me. Anyway, um, today we are gonna be stuffing a total of $706. And since my jinxy husband is with us, I'm sure I will mess up my counting somehow, but we're gonna go ahead and give this cash account anyways. Don't look at her weird, everybody. She <laughs> might mess it up. Listen, snarky. Okay, 150, 6, 10, 15, 20, 5, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. The cash always slips. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 700, 1, 2, three, four, five, and six, $706. So you didn't jinx me too badly. Exactly. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little. Just a little bit. Oh my goodness. Okay. So if you were, I think it's my last video. I think it was my last video where I discussed whether I was unsure if I should start burning a fall candle or do one more summer candle and um I w only one of you commented about that in particular and said a fall candle but um I'm sorry I didn't listen to you <laughs> this is a summer candle what I consider to be a summer candle it's aloe and bergamot I'm trying to see tipping in here so it's aloe and bergamot this is also from Target and I really loved the scent, but it's also, so it's cactus blossom, aloe vera, lime, and prickly pear, which I was like, oh, that sounds fun. And it does, it smells like slightly sweet, but fresh. But then I painted my nails red, which feels very autumnal to me. So I'm very clearly living in this like bizarre middle world where I'm ready for fall and winter, but still celebrating summer because it was 106 degrees yesterday, I think, here. So Yeah, it's why it's why, you know, Sam Adams Oktoberfest is out in the stores. Right. Some, but it's not this is not Oktoberfest drinking weather. No, it really isn't. It's Which, not. if you know a good Oktoberfest, let me know. I love Sam Adams with I think it's fantastic. What's a good one? Yeah. We want to know apparently what a good Oktoberfest beer is. I can't drink beer anymore because it upsets me, but he can. So I'm living vicariously through him. So anyways, so first step, we're going to go into my wallet. And inside of my wallet, I have a ton of receipts to scan into my Fetch and Receipt Hog apps. This is also, by the way, my teller slip, which I have um, in my shop, my Etsy shop that is linked below. I have this in a... Um, a post-it pad, but then I also have it as a digital download sheet available in my shop. So my shop is always linked below in all of my videos in the description box. So go ahead and check that out. And then also in the description box will be my referral codes that you can use to sign up for Fetch and Receipt Hog and a variety of other cashback apps that I use in my personal life. Um, I go ahead and uh, take pictures of these receipts 
upload them into the apps and you accrue points for doing so. And then you can cash those points in for either cash or gift cards, depending on the app that you're using. So all of that information will be linked below. Just as an FYI, I do get bonus points if you use my referral codes, but you get bonus points as well. Um, so it's definitely mutually beneficial, but I didn't want it to be like a secret surprise thing where you feel like you got snookered into using my referral code if you don't want to. Don't feel like you need to, but these cashback apps are kind of awesome. So anyways, I also, I have no grocery rollover, but I do have dollar bills that I stole um, so for those of you who may be new to my channel, <laughs> welcome. Hi, the growling that you hear in the background is my husband who gets cranky when I take dollar bills that are left over as change from cash transactions. And then I save them and put them in a little $1 savings challenge. Um, it's the only savings challenge that we are participating in because all of our extra money goes toward debt. If you have not seen my debt confession, I will go ahead and link that for you now. Um, but I also have a debt confession like playlist because we have also had two quarterly updates since my original debt confession where I update you on what the status is of our debt and where we stand today. Um, but anyways, we are participating in the dollar savings challenge and we, I kind of like empty out all of the dollar bills that we have squirreled away here and there, um, every quarter. And then I put them toward whatever sinking fund I kind of feel like needs a little beefing. So after the first quarter of counting our cash and using those dollars, we put them in our date night. Uh, sinking fund. And then in the second quarter, we put them in our vacation sinking fund. So right now, I think we're thinking about adding the ones to our back to school sinking fund, just because that's one that we want to make sure we're putting enough money toward that we know we didn't for the last school year. So we could end up updating that though. It just depends because we have been funding it pretty well. So anyways, and then I'll go ahead and pop in here. We do have a decent amount of change from this past week. That is a janky looking um, penny. Come on. You call it a penny, it's janky. It is janky looking. I'm gonna show janky. it to you and you will know. You will see. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, these coins are stuck. It's like they don't wanna go in the coin jar. It's like they don't wanna make me happy. Um, here, see? Oh yeah. That's, that's a janky looking penny. Um, but yeah, but those were the coins from this week. Pop them in here. The jar that will never fill. Somebody said use a baby food jar and I was cracking up because I was like, I mean, that's like something you have to empty and count every week. Feels like progress every week. Anyways, so let's... Oh, this is going to be good because that's going to be like, you know... That'll be a lot of cash. Like $200 when we're done with that. I think it'll be more than $200. If we actually filled the jar, that yeah. would be more than $200. Yeah, probably so. Huh? Yeah. Anyways, first up is high priority sinking funds. Oh, by the way, um, I actually saw this comment recently. Somebody asked again, um, or they asked if I have vitiligo. I've mentioned it before that I do have vitiligo. And um, it's always more noticeable in the summer because I spend a lot of time in the sunshine and get lots of vitamin D and I tan pretty nicely. I'm going to just go ahead and thank my Italian ancestors for that one. Um, although, funnily enough, my dad is, uh, was, sorry, my dad passed away in January, or yeah, January of last year, January of 2021, 2022. Mm -hmm. What year is 22. this? Yeah. It's 23 now. Um, but the man had no... Italian ancestry and got brown as a walnut. So I'm not sure it's, and it's like, he's like heavily German and Irish. So I'm not sure why he was so brown, but I attribute it to my Italian ancestry. Thanks mom. Um, she doesn't know. She doesn't watch my channel. She doesn't know my channel exists anyway, but I do have vitiligo. And so that's why you'll see like patchiness, but, um, if you'll notice, and you might start paying attention to it now, noticing it now, um, here's your little vitiligo lesson for the day that you didn't even realize that you were going to get. So the only thing that reliably, and it doesn't, it's not even reliable, but reliably eliminates vitiligo is UV therapy. 
Um, but it's not like the results from it aren't consistent. And so that's why it's not like a wholly recommended thing by the medical community. But I spend a lot of time in the sunshine and I spend against all of the conventional medical wisdom. I, could, I spend a lot of time in the sunshine without sunscreen on. Um, we do not have to get into a debate in the comments about why I do, I do not believe that sunscreen is good for you. Um, I also don't believe that spending hours and hours and hours in the sun is good for you either. So there's, it's all about balance. Um, but anyway, I get a lot of unprotected, uh, time in the sun every summer and it usually, um, gets rid of a good chunk of my vitiligo that I get during that progresses during the winter. Um, so my patches of vitiligo grow, but then in the summertime, like when we started, the summertime, this was one big patch of vitiligo. So you may even notice if you go back and watch some of my earlier videos, this was more pronounced. Um, and so time in the sun gets rid of some of it, not all of it, but some of it, like this was all white when we started the summer and now it's getting some pigment back. So that was a very long answer to Veda, do you have vitiligo? Yes, I have vitiligo. And yes, I'm able to get rid of some of it with exposure to the sun. So anyways, <laughs> now we will go into, <gasps> don't hit it. Now we're going to go into our high priority sinking funds. And first up is groceries. And if you watched my video, my weekly check-in, you will know that we are stuffing less this week because I went over in groceries last week. So it's getting $317 today. And we did this kind of funkily because I had to do something with all of these 20s that I had left over from my weekly check-in. I just repurposed the cash this time instead of returning it to the bank and then pulling out on Friday. Um, but so now I'm going to be adding 20s in, into here today. So 152 and then I did 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 through, hold on. So 150, 200, 220, 40, 60, 80, 300, 10, 15, 16, 17. And that is all we have in groceries. I took my cash tracker out of groceries because we spend so frequently from here that it doesn't make sense for us to track it. It's not like it's money that is going to sneak away somewhere. So I just pulled the cash tracker out of there. You said 317 exactly? I did. Okay. 317 exactly. Taxes is up next and it's getting $5 this week. Oh, I didn't mean to pull that out of there. This is, um, these placeholders are also in my shop. They're available as a digital download or a physical product from my shop. So we have 500 in the bank and then 600, 10, 15, 20, one, two, three, and four. So 624 total in taxes, 124 in the envelope here. Next up is a medical and it is getting $10 this week. Uh, there we go. And now in medical, we have one, two, 300, 350, 70, 80, 90, 400, five, and six. So 406 in medical. Car expenses is getting $20. Here's a reminder to make your appointment for your yeah, oil change. <laughs> Um, we need to do that. So what did I say? 20? It's getting 20 this week. I just did 20, didn't I? Yeah. And so now in car expenses, we have 1, 2, 300, 50, 70, 80, 90, 405 in car expenses. Noise. Noise. Home maintenance is getting $10 this week. We are building it back up again after buying wheels for our... Roomba vacuum, but it made it, it made it function so well. Like it's moving through our house like he's brand new. So I'm so happy. <laughs> um, oh, ten dollars, ten dollars in home maintenance, and now we have twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty-five, seventy-one in home maintenance. Oops. That dollar bill being crinkly was messing me up. Household, poor empty household is getting $10 this week and that is all it has. 
This is one that just gets spent from a lot, you know? Well, and also I bought dish soap, not realizing that I had a ton of dish soap. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyways, it's fine. Now we'll have dish soap for a while. <laughs> Toiletries is getting 15 and I just only had $2 in there. So, oh wait, how did I do that? Oh, first of all, I need to go back in the household. That didn't get 10. It was, I mean, it gets 10, but it just gets a five and five ones. Not. Well, there's still only 10 in the envelope, right? Yes. No, we broke, we broke in household. <laughs> broke and household. But no, I always do household and toiletries all funny like this. And then I forget. And then I'm like, why do I have all this weird money left? Anyways. So fixing household. And then how did I do toiletries? Toiletries is 15. Oh, I just did a 10 of five. That, that works. So 10, oops, and a five. And now we have 17 in toiletries. Did you spend 35 out of there in cash at some point? I did. Okay. Yeah, there were a couple of things that I got. That's fine. Yeah, and then I returned money to the bank mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Clothes is up next. Where's that? Oh, it's getting 25. And five. And now in close, we have 50, 100, 25, 35, 41, and two. So 142 in close. All right, we had a child interruption again. But next up, we are in finance coach, and it is being stuffed $5 this week. And now it has 20, 45, 55. We are $10 away from fully funding this. <laughs> All right. And then HOA is up next and it's getting $10 this week. It's so funny to me that now we're like coming up to the times where we'll be paying for these. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. it's almost been a full year of cash stuffing. I mean, it's only been eight months, but mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Anyways, HOA has 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right. Then union dues is getting $5. And now in union dues, we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 5, and 10. Yep, that's it for our high priority sinking funds because our emergency fund is currently fully funded at $1,000. Next up in lo is low priority, not in, is low priority sinking funds. And dine out is being skipped for the rest of August. But work meals, that's because we were on vacation. Did you say one time in June? I don't know. Sorry. Next up is work meals and it's getting $10 this week and it has 30 now. Haircuts is getting 20 and I think, yeah, I did a little funky with this one too so that you would have like tip money. Mm -hmm. So I did a 10, a five, and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. And now in haircuts, we have 50, 70, 90, 100, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 110 in haircuts. Mm. Home is home decor. It's getting $15 this week. And now it has $17, which I swear is just gonna fly right on out of here because all of the good fall candles are, are coming out now and I'm like, oh, I want that one. Oh, I want that one. I won't, but. It's gonna be fall weather around here. <laughs> I know. Dates is up next. And it's getting $5 and it is noticeably 
less because guys, we went on our date. So I'm going. Yeah, we did. Yes, we did. So I'm going to take a brief respite from counting. I did add the money in though, so don't let me forget that. To tell you a little bit about our date. So um, for those of you who are in the Dallas Fort Worth area, you absolutely 1,000 Casprillion percent. Yes, Casprillion. No, that is not a number. Yes, I made it up. You may use it at your leisure. I'm not going to trademark it. Um, you have to go into downtown Dallas to a bar called The Mitchell. So if you want a landmark reference, it is actually not far away from the JFK assassination site, which is also a good thing to visit. You should absolutely go to that museum. It's really well done. Um, anyway, leave your conspiracy theories about JFK and his, assassin his assassination below. Did the CIA do it? Yes, they did. Anyway, um, so the Mitchell is a bar but they have an incredible chef on staff who makes just the best food. And by the way, their bartenders are so good at making cocktails. Like my husband always gets an old fashioned no matter where we go. And these guys make the best old fashioned that you will have in your life. It's yeah, it, was, it was really good. So, so good. And I only managed to get two pictures of our starters from their starter menu. So... We always get the bone marrow to start on their menu. And my husband had never tried their beef tartare. Um, and we got that as well. Our actual entrees, by the time they made it, made it out to us, we were like just consuming the food ravenously. And so I completely forgot to get pictures. And actually, the pictures that I took of the bone marrow and the beef tartare, we had started eating it. And then I was like, no, I need to take pictures to show everybody. So, um, I only have these two, but if you are anywhere, even remotely close, like our drive into downtown Dallas is pretty hefty, but it's still worth it. Um, yeah, make your way over to the Mitchell and just get everything on the menu. It's so good. So yeah. So that was our date to celebrate paying off our first credit card way back in March. So well done us. <laughs> <laughs> all these months later, but we did it. Better late than never. Better late than never. So anyway, I know that you guys were all waiting for us to go on that date and to hear about it. We went, we had a fantastic time and we actually spent less than we thought that we would. So we are excited about that too. But anyway, now in our dates envelope, we have 50, 60, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, and 4. I did add the 5 to that, didn't I? 84. 80. Yeah. 50, 60, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. Okay. I thought I had, but anyways, it sounded like a weird number, so I thought I would check. Next up is his, this is my husband's spending money, which he's clearly been digging in, because look at this. <laughs> oh, man. What am I walking into? Um, I, I put it back fairly evenly. Oh, okay. He gets 15 this week. Oh, yeah, you did. I don't see any backwards money or anything. Well done, you. Thank you. All right. So now he has 1, 2, 50, 3, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 400, 5, 6, and 7. Nice. I know. You're really, really close. So when you when you get what you're saving for, you're just going to deplete your envelope like that? I don't know. I don't know what the time frame is going to look like on that. Fair might enough. Be a while. Might uh, just put that in savings and wait for more opportune time. Fair enough. Yeah. Makes sense. All right. Next up is hers. This is my spending money, and I get thirty-four this week. So twenty, uh, thirty, one, two. Three and four. And now in my spending money, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 15, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 139. Slips, 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 slips. There we go. And then next up is pretty hair, which funds my haircut. And it gets $8, so five, 
six, seven, eight. And now I have 20, 45, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 7, 8. My haircut is in like one of the first couple of weeks of September, so we'll be close to building up. I always build up enough for the haircut and the tip, so that's that. And then lash lift is getting 14, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And now in my lash lift, we have 10, 20, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. So 46. And nobody, it seems, who watches my channel has tried out that at-home lash lift thing. But now I have enough money to buy it, and it would cover the next five lash lifts with this money. So I'm like, what do I do? Do I take the risk and try it at home? How much is it? It's like $39.99 or something. Sounds like a risk worth taking to me. I know. $40 compared to how much every so often? Yeah, it's like $84 including the tip every six weeks. So what, like $95, $100 every six weeks? No, that 84 includes the tip. Oh, that includes the tip. Yeah. So it's half the price Ooh. of one treatment. Yeah. For potentially five? Yeah. That's a that's a good bet right there. You know what I mean? Like how yeah. did you look at it on Amazon? Yeah, like there? people, yeah. It's not on Amazon, but it rates well by people who they're like they I mean, people were honest. They're like, it's complicated to glue the little thing onto your eye your what's this called? Eyelid? Lid, thank you, geez Louise, that you curl your lashes to, or that you glue your lashes to, yeah. but that once you get acclimated to that, it's actually really easy to do, so we shall see. Yeah. Anyways, you all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, next up is Family Fun, and is it, oh no, yeah, it's getting $10 this week. And so now in Family Fun, we have 10, 20, 35, 36, and 37. Why do I have us having 89? Did we spend, I guess we spent 52 of that. Yeah, and um, I can't remember what we it. We took money, yeah. Yeah. We'll we took Family Fun money to cover down on stuff we'd done during vacation. Yeah. Yeah, so that's probably where that. Yeah. And miscellaneous is being skipped this week. I think there's only just the five. Yeah, just five in there. And then House Project is getting $38 this week. Ooh, he's beefy. 20, 30, what did I say? 38. 30. Five. 36, 37, 38. That was the last of the one. So now in House Project, we have one, two, three, four. 400, 420, 40, 60, 80, 90, 500, 10, 15, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So 535 in house yeah. project. We need to put that in the bank. I know. We do because we're not going to, gutters aren't going to be. Yeah, the gutters are a thousand. Yeah, at least, right? Mm -hmm. So we're looking at a couple months before we get gutters. Yeah. We should sit that in the bank. Yeah, and let it earn some interest. I wonder if I could do like a little mini bill condensing with these, with this money, since it's got to go to the bank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll see. Anyways, that is it for low priority sinking funds. And then last up, holiday sinking funds. And first up is gifts. And Gifts is getting $10 this week. And so now in Gifts we have 50, 70, 80, 95. 95 in Gifts. Oh, goodness. All right, Parte is up next. It's getting $10. And this funds like birthday parties and just like anything that we host at our house where we serve any kind of food or drinks or whatever. And actually, I saw a comment 
asking me to show like how I set up a charcuterie board and I'm definitely interested in doing something that for you like that for you guys I know it's not like budgeting content but if it's something that you are interested in seeing let me know um I definitely want to do it for you guys but if if you're kind of like overwhelmingly like this is not why we're at your channel like you're not going to hurt my feelings so yeah anyways hurt my feelings it would hurt yours oh okay all right, so then now in parte, we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 1, 2, and 3. So 83 in parte. I do like making charcuterie boards, obviously, because I keep buying charcuterie boards. <laughs> Valentine's Day is being skipped this week, but I will give it a count for our balance checker over here. Mm -hmm. 20, 35, 36, 37. And Valentine's Day. Easter is also being skipped, but I will count it. 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Oh, poor vacation. It's broke. It makes me so sad seeing it's it so count empty. For me? It's zero. Count it one more time? Nope, just zero. What's that number? Still zero. All right, good. All right. Back to school is getting $15 this week, and this poor thing got emptied. But we cash funded back to school entirely, which is so awesome to me. So never have we ever. Here we go. 10, 15, 20, 1, and 2 in back to school. How much? 22. Why don't I have us down at 63? Did you spend 42 out of that or 41 out of that? Are you factoring in like what you've allotted it from a weekly standpoint, regardless of what I am funding it? No, I'm saying with that $15 that you just put in there, mm -hmm. we should have 63. Well, you say we have 22. Yeah. So we must have spent 41 in cash then. Did you bring cash on? I don't know. Okay. We got to keep a little bit better track of that. All right. Anyways, we're doing fine, but I'm just saying, you know, know. there's not a we unless you're thorough. You're thorough. No, no, I'm not the problem here. You're a problem. Anyway, Halloween's up next. Well, no, it's not. Halloween is fully funded. It's got $160 in it. And then Thanksgiving is getting $10 this week. And so now in Thanksgiving, whoops, now in Thanksgiving, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 40, 50, 65. So 165 in Thanksgiving. Oops. Oh, man. There we go. Christmas is up next. It's getting $50. And so now in Christmas, we have um, 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 45, 46, 47, and 48. That almost has to go to the back, too. It really does. Maybe I'll do like an end of August bill yeah. condensing since yeah. so much is going to need to go to the bank at that point. We all know how great I am at a bill condensing video. The last one was like 48 minutes long. That was so ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, um, zoo is being skipped this week, but I will count it. Thanks. It's got 20, 40, 60, 80 dollars. Yeah, one more time. No, the, the once was fine. <laughs> Just the once. Uh, maybe you are like that one comment that that lady called you a child. <laughs> I'm joking. That was hurtful. I know. Except for that it wasn't because I don't care. But so many of you were so nice Ouch. and replying to her and saying that you like his banter. Because I do too. So, anyways. <laughs> the pool is the last up. It's getting the last $10 that remains here in the cash tray. And now the pool has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, 84 in the pool. And it makes me so sad because the pool is basically done for the season. <sighs> Sigh. Anyways, I love the pool. So last up, we're just going to go ahead and take... Sorry, did you say 84 on that? You know what? I need you to... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to crunch the numbers. Stop crunching. All just right. pay attention. I'm 20... Do the math. No. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4. Did you count one more time? No. All right. See, we're good. Close. Getting to my nerves. All right, then. 
<laughs> All right, so as per usual, we do not count what's already in here. We just count what we're putting in. So we're adding one, two, three, four dollars this week into the dollar savings challenge. And yeah, I still don't know what this is going toward. So many of you said, just give the dollar challenge to your husband's envelope so that he stops <laughs> pestering you about the ones that you take from other things. <laughs> oh, I just love you guys. You're Listen, so funny. Reallocating money doesn't relieve the guilt of stealing money. It's not All stealing. Right? It's just reallocating. That's what they said about communism. Oh my gosh, I can't. Anyways. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. If you did enjoy it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and shoot me a comment. I love seeing you guys in the comments. I remember you. I remember your faces. I remember your names. It's so fun to see you guys there. So thank you for always being so lovely. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you did. And then actually, I will see you guys, I don't know, next. Am I doing a bonus video this week? I have to figure out what my schedule is. Anyway, if nothing else, I'll see you guys on Friday for the weekly check-in. I hope that the rest of your week is fantastic, and I will see you then. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.